How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're in China or in Russia or maybe traveling to China or Russia, you may be wondering how can you access and use VPNs in those regions where VPN use is quite a bit restricted. Now, both Russian and Chinese governments use a combination of legislative actions and restrictive technologies to monitor and censor internet use. Since VPNs are sometimes used to fight censorship, these countries have been trying to control or block VPN use use as well. Only a handful of VPNs with solid obfuscation technology work there. So of course I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best. Overall, they all vary in budgets and features, so pick and choose depending on your own situation and preferences. Now let me just get ExpressVPN out of the way as the best option for fighting censorship, especially if you're going to China or if you're a Chinese citizen. Most VPNs struggle quite a bit with bypassing the Great Firewall of China because the Great Firewall of China uses sophisticated VPN blocking technology. And of course, both countries also use a method of examining data called Deep Packet Inspection or DPI to control internet traffic. China has banned the use of all non-government approved VPNs and proclaimed the unauthorized ones illegal. The government approved VPNs are allowed, though they're heavily monitored. And you don't want to use any government approved VPNs because they are heavily monitored and they will share your data with the government. However, a VPN with robust obfuscation and security features can work even in highly monitored countries and protect your data. It sends your traffic through an encrypted tunnel and hides your real IP address. And advanced obfuscation technology, of course, will allow you to get around the most sophisticated VPN blocks in countries such as China and Russia. And specifically for China, I do recommend ExpressVPN and ExpressVPN only. If you're in Hong Kong, you can still access the regular website of ExpressVPN. But if you're in mainland China, you can go to the Tor browser and access ExpressVPN through this URL right here, which is express O-B-U-T-I-O-L-E-M dot onion through the Tor browser. Simply download the Tor browser and you'll be able to access ExpressVPN if the website itself is not available in your region. And it's most likely not available since ExpressVPN is one of the only VPNs that actually works in China very reliably. So the Chinese government most likely banned it, but uh, yeah, you can still access it. Now, with regards to NordVPN, Unfortunately, on Windows OS devices, you won't be able to connect from China, but you are able to connect on other devices, but you might have to use one of the setups below. And the NordVPN application itself is going to be the same exact one. It's pretty much identical. It just works in censorship heavy countries. So you might have to download this version if you want it to work. And if you're still having trouble connecting to NordVPN servers, you can connect to the obfuscated servers right here, which will help you bypass the censorship firewalls in censorship heavy countries. In Russia, you shouldn't have any problems, but in China, you might have a little bit of a problem. So be sure to, of course, download these versions of NordVPN in order to make sure that it works. And of course, there's also 24 seven live chat support to help you out with that. Now, with regards to Surfshark, Surfshark won't give you any trouble as long as you kind of take a few measures, make sure that the protocol setting is on automatic so that if one protocol doesn't work, it just switches to the other protocol. Of course, with regards to security features, you do have all the security features that you need, such as the kill switch and split tunneling. If the VPN disconnects unexpectedly to prevent rare IP leaks. And of course, all these VPNs do have that same uh, feature and split tunneling specifically will allow you to select which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. And this is a pretty useful feature, of course, uh, if you're looking for a good VPN, maybe you want a specific application to use the VPN tunnel while the rest of your connection is left outside the VPN tunnel. Maybe you just want your torrenting client to use the VPN. And you have two features that will help you if you're in a censorship heavy country with Surfshark. Rotating IP will automatically rotate your IP address every five to 10 minutes while the VPN location stays the same, helping you cover up your tracks. And no borders mode will help you by 
bypass censorship firewalls if you're having trouble connecting to Surfshark. So always make sure that this is on. Uh, as you can tell, it says here, if you're in a country where VPN usage is restricted, this may mean that you will have trouble connecting to some servers and using this app if you turn off no borders mode. So keeping it on if you're in a censorship heavy country is always going to be useful uh, and you don't need to turn it off at all. It will not affect your connection speed or anything like that. And if you're traveling to China or Russia, I would definitely recommend that you download these VPNs before going there. And if you're already there, what you can do is use a free VPN such as Proton VPN to connect to one of its servers and then go to the websites of Nord or Surfshark or ExpressVPN if they're banned in China or Russia. And then you can download it from there. Maybe ask a friend to send you the file. They could download the file of the VPN and then send it over to you through the cloud or something like that and you'll be able to download it and access the internet freely so that's pretty much it for this video either way these vpns are actually covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can test drive these vpns for 30 days risk-free otherwise if you're not 100 percent satisfied with any of these vpns you can get yourself the refund you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below if you'd like to jump straight to that but if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security and features you'll also find the full reviews down below comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day